All right, good morning. Before we get started, let's do a breathing exercise. Five seconds, five Mississippis. Let's get in tune. And don't forget to subscribe, just come on now. Five seconds, and what we're gonna do after that is take a badass walk on the beach, but first let's breathe in deep, release, and let's focus on what today's message is, because it's very important. I need you to understand that you have orders from the Most High on how to handle the reprobate, the narcissist. And in, in layman's terms, it's kind of like this. Look, don't leave mad. Just leave. It's fantastic. But let's do this. Let's take a badass walk on the beach after that. Come on. Release slowly. All right. Check it off. Look. Narcissists are always going to be in a position of that poverty mindset. And it's why they run around doing the bullshittery that they do. But we do have a direct uh, map, if you will, outlined. It's kind of like handling narcissists in a Christian kind of way. And let's start in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3. And I'm going to read, okay, and, and narrate every now and again. But I want you to understand that th this is serious in, in its simplicity and very effective. In verse 3, chapter 5, verse 3 of Ephesians, But among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. This has got to be the scariest scripture for narcissists. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, nor moral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, and has in, idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ or God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be partners with them. Total discard. Verse 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. You want to ruminate on something? Chase the butterfly feelings of truth. Now, verse 10. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Hold on. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Not remain silent. Not enable. But let them see the hypocrisy they speak. A mirror reflection of themselves. Drives a hypocrite crazy. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. You see, narcissists are self-aware. That's why they hide it. That's why they're on the DL, the down low. And it's why you need to take heed. It's why narcissists all around the world are being exposed now by the truth. The truth talkers are done keeping silent. You see it all around the world. All levels of economic and social power. Karma does not miss an address. And Elohim sees the decisions made when you think no one is looking. 
warriors, one of the things we also need to pay attention to are the red flags amongst us. The narcissists hide in plain sight. Drunk, stoned, or stupid, or just might be a narcissist that you're dealing with. Either way, we know this. They all have an addiction. Makes orgasmic noises while eating food. Mmm. Oh, yes. Mmm. Is reading your mind right now. would succumb to the dark side. Thought I made that one up, didn't you? These cards are just falling right in place, I'm telling you. These ain't tarot. This is a card game, an adult card game. Imagine that. But it just happens to have a plethora of narcissistic traits. Would be better off having their finances managed by a striped bass with a calculator. <laughs> is always like really cold is having a midlife crisis right now <laughs> right you know, right now never does drugs except when they do has revelations about life that lead to bouts of crying yeah they're shadow boxing you ever seen them at night, La Llorona? Screaming. Woo. Builds a fort and sleeps in it for a week. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Karma gonna get that ass. Ooh, man. All right, let's check out the fortress cookie. see there are a lot of bumps on the road to easy street there are a lot of bumps on the road to easy street you're looking numbers 45 46 6 16 40 and 11 according to this now if it hits hook a brother up <laughs> Hey, man, thanks so, so, so much for your contributions to PayPal. Uh, and those of you that just hit the join button or just want to give a love offering, I thank you so much. But more than anything, your remarks and your mature mind and ability to moderate yourselves is a beautiful thing. Well, your, your testimony being shared when you're ready I want you to understand you're helping another fellow warrior one that maybe doesn't have the strength of insight that you have when you're ready to share your testimony know that you're saving a life one that matters and because other content creators shared theirs many of us were able to make it to that next level in our healing. And I thank you. You're now in a place where you can share your vulnerabilities, your emotions, and know that if they're ever used against you, that what you have in front of you is a narcissist. Expose them. Let them know. Don't leave mad. Just leave. Warriors, there's no time for dealing with incompetence. You have logic on your side and the truth. Fulfill your mission. Don't be derailed or distracted by the narcissists amongst you. They suffer from FOMO, the fear of missing out. And it's why they'll continuously monkey jump and monkey branch from one connection to another. But they're all sharing the same dildo. It's why these dating apps are a total, utter failure. Because the only ones participationing 
in that experience are narcissists, horny asses, hit it and quit it. And many are losing their minds because there is no more fresh supply. The meat that they want no longer participates. Your meat, your money, your energy, your attention, and time. Hold the line. I'm proud of you. And thanks for your support. It means a lot. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Les mando besos y abrazos. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. <laughs> Leap of it. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's, warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. <laughs> we're going to be falling be at 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your back. All right. All what right. made you want to skydive? What What brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on sword fight uh, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw there you go we'll have to do it again <laughs> all right when are you gonna get your license now I'm gonna work on it tomorrow <laughs> I'll well, be back Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us this guy oh, Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say what an honor badass crew I love it here the hospitality just phenomenal Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. Oh, what a fun! Hey, awesome. man. Glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.